Welcome back to our kitchen. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing ranch flavored saltines. These crackers, they're already crackers, but you know, when you're doing what you do, these crackers are the best. They're a good snack and it's going to, it'll blow your mind. All right. For this, y'all, you're gonna need yourself some ranch seasoning. You need two packs of this. Two of those packs. I got the book, oh, we use this on wings and everything else. And you're gonna need, well, that's the two packs of that, y'all, but. Okay, okay. This ain't the recipe I'm gonna use, but just, I'm going by the whole box here. You're gonna need two packs for that, a box of these crackers. Regular saltine crackers. You know what I mean, you want the ones with salt on it because you want some flavor. Just, just go with me now. You want the ones with the salt on it. If you're saying, I don't want the ones with salt on it because of this, you should be making this recipe because it, it's, it's not good for you anyway. <laughs> because of what it is. And you're gonna need yourself two cups of vegetable oil. You need a bag, a zip top bag. You can shake it up, big gallon size. And that's all you need for that recipe right there. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna half in that recipe. So I'm gonna use two packs of crackers. Cause if I make that whole thing of crackers, it's gonna go in the garbage, y'all. So these crackers will be used another day for some gumbo or something, some chili or something. Two packs of crackers, an eighth cup, one eighth, which is one pack of the uh, ranch seasoning, one cup of oil. I know that seems a bit extreme, all that oil, and then I'm going to kick it up a notch. I'm going to put a tablespoon of crushed red peppers. It's not going to give it too much spice. It's going to be just right. So what you do. Get those crackers in the bag. Like I said, I know that oil looks a bit scary. That's why I said, if you worry about the salt, <laughs> You got another thing coming to you because it's oil, there's some oil. And just think about it, they gonna be so good. If you sit up here and ate this whole bag of crackers by yourself in a day, you drink a whole cup of vegetable oil. So we're not going for the healthy fact here, y'all. We're going for a nice snack. And see, that's a lot of crackers. That's why I didn't do the whole recipe, which was the whole bag. Alright. Let's see, do they be chopped up? Let's see. Got some little knots in it. Break them up. Alright. I'm gonna do take my trusty fork here. Like I said, this is a step you don't need. But I'm going with a little, uh, a little heat. A little heat, I said, not a lot. I don't that look menacing, but trust me. And so what I'm doing here, I'm breaking up these little pieces because it's the been you the 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 container been used over like heat, and they made some clumps. All right, once you get all mixed up like that, you mix that together. You can also pour that in the bag. And then put the oil in, but I like to do mine like this here so everything can get 
mix together. Now, this is the way I've always did it. I'm sure you can possibly substitute this with olive oil, which would be getting in that healthy route. Now these crackers, they really they sea salt. They sea salt now. So you can actually make a healthier model if you want to. You can use some healthier crackers. And which I guess the sea salt is the most healthy way to go with the salt part. Because you want that flavor, that salt. You can get some probably olive oil, some uh avocado oil, either one. But I wouldn't go with none of that other stuff like corn oil and canola. Canola is a healthier choice too now. It's, it's lower in cholesterol, but I wouldn't go with that. Now pour it all in the bag. Why did I put that up? I knew I was going to need it. I'm going to do it out later. I can get it pretty much all. Put that bag together and start tossing it. Alright now, as I'm tossing this, trying to get all these crackers coated with some of the uh, seasons, you're going to set this up for about 30 minutes at the least, y'all, but I'll go longer than that. I will go longer than that. But within that 30 minutes, you come back in about 15 minutes and you do this again, you toss them up again. Alright, now we're gonna let that sit for 15 minutes. Now that 15 minutes have elapsed, come back, give it another another toss. Alright, so you're just trying to make sure all the crackers got some seasoning on them. We got all them good seasonings, y'all. And that's like it. Now this gonna have to sit at least 30 minutes. But you'll be doing yourself a favor by letting it go a little longer. Let these crackers absorb most of it all. Cause they will absorb it real good. And then what you wanna do is once they get all absorbed, you can take them and put them in snack size bags as a snack. And you know, we put them in the kids' boxes or husband or wife. Just put them in their little lunch boxes or anything. Just, just don't eat all this by yourself. It's going to be tempting to do, but don't do it. Alright, I'm going to let this sit up for a while. And that you have your ranch saltine crackers. Now, I can't express this no too, too much now. Don't eat all that by yourself. Don't do it. That my people finished properly.